Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve a numerical uh, related to the irrigation channel. That is regime channel. So, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel and like the video. So, you will get regular update. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, this is the question given over here. Design or regime channel for the discharge of 50 cumic and shield factor 1.1 using Lessis theory. We have to design our regime channel, okay, that is uh, irrigation channel type uh, from the using formula of Lessig's theory, okay. So, if you have not uh, studied about Lessig's theory, first you have to study about the Lessig's theory, okay. Uh, but in this video, we, we, uh, we will just discuss about the Lessig's uh, formula, what are the given uh, formula by the Lessig's and how can we apply this formula for the designing of regime channel okay so in this video we will discuss about this numerical and solve this numerical okay and and this question is already asked in more than uh, five six times in uh, Pokhara University as well as uh, TU IOU okay so uh, we are going to solve this numerical so very first uh, step two we have to find the velocity okay uh, velocity that is the velocity equal to q of a square by 140 uh, all to the power 1 by 6 okay so uh, first i will show you why we have to find this on this value for this we have a uh, formula for trapezoidal slope with side slope uh, 0 0.5 h uh, to 1b that is horizontal 0 0.5 and vertical 1 uh, this is the horizontal value and this is the vertical value so we have to uh, we have to given the slope uh, 0 0.5 is to 1 or uh, if not given we can take uh, this okay so we have um, very uh, basic formula that is the value of phi equal to uh, b plus root over 5 by and the value of a equal to uh, y into v plus y by 2 okay so uh, this is just uh, p is nothing it is just a perimeter okay and a is area okay so uh, these two equation is very important okay and we are uh, repeatedly used uh, this two equation for determining the uh, different parameter related uh, to this equation okay so uh, the very first step for these two value p and d we have to find the value of v and r why we have to find these two value uh, because you can see here for determining the value of p that is perimeter and area we have to calculate on uh, the value of a and p by using the formula of uh, a equal to q by b and uh, p equal to 4.75 to q okay so uh, very first step we have to find the velocity b equal to q of a square by 140 already power 1 by 6 okay so this is the first step i will uh, just uh, show you uh, what are the steps that we should follow during the uh, determining these uh, parameters so uh, in step number first we have to find the value of velocity that is v equal to kfa square by 140 uh, to the power 1 by 6 then we have to find by the using this velocity we have to find the value of r okay uh, r is uh, hydraulic radius so r equal to 5 by 2 uh, v a square by f okay and uh, this is the v and uh, its value I, we have already found that uh, 0 0.869 okay so we have to just keep this value over here okay so uh, we can easily find the value of r then after a uh, second step we will see uh, the value for determining the value of a okay so we already know a equal to q by v that is discharge by velocity gives the area okay so in third step we will determine the area okay after determining the area we have to find the value of perimeter okay and phi equal to 4.75 root under q okay and uh, the discharge already given by the equation okay then we can easily determine the value of phi uh, by the using uh, these all parameters we have to find the value of p and a if uh, there is any parameter that is unknown then we have to determine that unknown value okay by the helping of these four equations 
and uh, different value given uh, in the question okay so now let's see and um, very first you have to know that uh, when in question uh, say design a design channel it means we have to find the value of slope okay what is the slope uh, of this channel okay so that is the ultimate goal so now we have to uh, solve this numerical so let's see the solution one by one so uh, let's read again the question a uh, design or regime channel for a discharge of 50 cumac that is uh, discharge okay meter cube per second and shield factor 1.1 using less theory so we have given over here uh, discharge is equal to 50 cumac that is 50 meter cube per second shield factor that is value of f equal to 1.1 so i already told you we have to determine the value of b b equal to q of a square by 140 uh, to the power 1 by 6 so the very first step to determine the value of b by the using this formula we can determine the value of b so q uh, q that is the value of q is given 50 meter cube per second so we just keep this value over here uh, q equal to 50 and f square the value of f that is shield factor is 1.1 1 .1 uh, square by 140 to the all power 1 6 the value of b becomes 0 0.869 after calculating okay in meter per second so uh, this completes our first step then we have to find the value of r equal to 5 by 2 root under b square by f a b square by f okay so this is our second step for determining the hydraulic radius that is value of r so uh, we have 5 by 2 and we already calculate the value of b that is 0 0.869 so we just keep a here and uh, square by f f equal to 1.1 given by the equation so the value of r becomes 1.675 meter okay so this completes second step now we have to find the value of a a equal to q by uh, b okay so uh, discharge is already given by the equation that is 50 and uh, we already determined the value of b that is 0 0.869 so we just keep these two value just uh, here according to the uh, a equal to q i b so uh, we will get value of a equal to 56.3 meter square after that we have to find the value of p equal to uh, 4.75 under q the value of p okay so uh, this is we just uh, want this q value okay so uh, q is already given to the question given by the question so we just keep uh, value of q in this uh, q by b so q is equal to 50 q make that is meter cube per second and uh, b in also in meter per second okay that is 0 0.869 okay so uh, these two parameters units are also in same so uh, we can simply calculate uh, value of a by the placing these two value so our area equal to 56.3 meter square okay uh, now we have to find the value of p p equal to 4.75 root under q so 4.75 root under q q equal to 50 uh, then our value that is value of p becomes 33.56 okay so we uh, now uh, we different parameters are unknown and these value are also known so uh, for trapezoidal slope with uh, side slope 0 0.5 uh, is to 1 generally uh, we will take uh, this slope okay uh, for the uh, trapezoidal slope uh, we have the formula that is for p equal to b plus root under 5 by and a equal to y uh, into b plus uh, y by 2 if you have not seen this formula uh, i i will strongly recommend you must know uh, this formula okay these two formulas are uh, generally used for the designing okay so you must remember these two formula that is p equal to b plus root under 5 by and uh, a equal to y into b plus y by 2 okay so we already calculated the value of p that is 33.56 so we just keep uh, this value here uh, that is 33.56 equal to b plus root under 5 by okay so uh, this completes uh, then uh, we will see a equal to y into b plus y by 2 and the value of a is uh, 56.3 we all already calculated so this value keep here 
uh, 56.3 equal to uh, yb we just uh, multiply this value uh, in bracket okay so we will get yb plus y square by 2 so this is the step uh, number 1 and uh, a equal to y into b plus y by 2 this is the uh, step number uh, this is equation 2 okay so uh, here you can see uh, we have the only unknown value as r uh, y okay so in the first equation is also y and in second equation is also y square by 2 so we have to solve these two equations and find the value of y okay so uh, after solving these two equations uh, we can easily determine the value of y and after solving this we will get the value of y equal to 1.65 and also we get another value that is in the form of negative okay so uh, we don't have to take negative value we just uh, take feasible value okay feasible value means the value which is in the positive okay so the value of y equal to 1.65 this is the positive value so we have to take uh, tick uh, we have to take only positive value okay so we take uh, value of y equal to 1.65 and uh, neglecting on feasible value okay so on feasible means simply the negative value okay so uh, we have value of y equal to 1.65 now uh, we can determine the value of y by the using uh, these two formula these two equations either one or either uh, two you can uh, determine the value of b by the using value of y okay so simply uh, we will uh, put on the value of y equal to 1.65 upon here okay and we can determine the value of b so the value of b also becomes 33.56 and the value of root under 5y that is the value of uh, 2.2 into 1.65 uh, that is the value of 2.2 into 1.65 that is the value of um, gets in left side so it becomes minus and the value of b uh, equal to 29.77 meter okay so uh, we calculated these two value that is value of y equal to 1.65 and b equal to 29.77 meter okay so uh, now we have to find the value of s okay so s equal to we have to the power 5 by 3 by uh, 3 3 4 0 into uh, 50 to the power 1 by 6 so we can easily determine the value of s um, and the value of f is given by the equation that is yes uh, f equal to shield factor okay so shield factor equal to 1.1 this is uh, given by the equation so we just uh, use this value f equal to 1.1 to the power 5 by 3 and uh, by 3340 into 50 to the power 1 by 6 okay so we just uh, keep the value of f that is 1.1 and simply calculating this value we will get the value of s equal to 1 by uh, 5 4 2 0 okay so it means slope equal to 1 is to uh, 5 4 2 0 okay so in this way you can uh, determine the value of all these parameters and finally you can calculate the value of uh, slope also that is uh, in these questions we calculated the value of s equal to 1.5420 okay so in this way you can design a regime channel okay and irrigation channel related to this numerical you can solve on another questions as well okay if uh, some parameters are given and the value of uh, may changes the value of discharge and shield factor okay so you can easily calculate the regime channel okay but you have to uh, remember these all formula okay and steps after uh, which steps we determine we have to determine the first then you can easily uh, determine different uh, another values okay as well so uh, this completes this numerical i hope uh, you guys understand well thank you very much see you in next video okay uh, and in next video we will discuss about this question okay in this question is also one of the very important question and repeatedly asked in our examination okay and this question is already asked in 2014 18 15 14 15 14 fall spring okay more than uh, seven eight times okay so uh, next video we will see this question okay so thank you very much hope you guys understand well thank you very much see you in next video please 
do subscribe the channel like the video and press the bell icon so you will get regular update okay stay tuned